In this video, we're going to take a look at duplicate as a dependent as a method that we can use to create area plans so that we can increase the scale of our view and still keep it on one sheet. As you can see in the sheet here, this view is at 3 16 inch equals a foot, and it's already maxed out on the sheet size. So if I wanted to go any larger, I'm going to have to break this apart into a couple of pieces. To do this, I'm going to go to our ground floor plan. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate of it. I'm going to duplicate with detailing because I still want all of these annotations. And now this is going to become the parent view for our dependent views. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do duplicate view. And this time we're going to use duplicate as dependent. What's going to happen is I'm now going to get a dependent view to this parent view. And what's great about this is any changes I make to the visibility and graphic overrides or any of the view specific properties that we see here, those that'll also take place to my dependent views. So if I change the scale to say quarter inch to make it a little larger, what I can then do is go to my dependent view and I can actually adjust the crop region of this view to split the plan in half. And if we look at our overall view, you can see that I have the crop region for the first dependent view that I created. If I do it again, duplicate as dependent, I'll get another one below. And I can do the same thing to this one and adjust the crop region. I'm going to rename these. calling this one area A. And I'll call the other one area B. Now I want to leave a little bit of overlap space here, just for clarity between the two plans. And what we can do to define that space is we can actually add a match line that will allow us to see exactly where that plan is being cut in multiple different views. To do that, we will go to our View tab, Match Line, and then I can draw the line, which will define where our match line is going to occur. Once I've drawn the line, I can finish the sketch. And now you can see we have a match line here that's going to show up in both of our views. Once I place these views on a sheet, which you can see this is our overall plan with the match line, and then I can place these on a sheet. So this is for my area A plan. And then I can put area B on the area B sheet. We can further define each one of our area plans by using a scope box to define the extents of those views. In my parent view, I'm going to go expand the crop region so it includes the extents of both my area A and area B plan. And I'm going to add a scope box for each one. This scope box can have a specific name. I can call this one area B. And the reason I'm just calling it area B is because I can use this for my upper and lower levels as well. So I don't have to create multiple scope boxes. The extents of this view can be associated with that scope box so that they're the same all the way across the board. With the crop region selected, I can go ahead and I can change the scope box from none to area B. And now that crop region is going to associate itself with that scope box. 